first of all, I gave you the illustration of the blank space behind the eyes. About the silence out of which all sound comes. And about empty space out of which all the stars are, appear.
see, don't we, all that we experience is understandable as a spectrum of vibration. There are different kinds of spectra. There's the spectrum of light, there's the spectrum of sound. We can also think the spectra of smells, of tactile feelings, of emotions, and so on, all down the line. We are, as it were, living in the midst of a woven tapestry of many dimensions in which the warps and the roofs are all these different spectra of various kinds of vibrations. Of, uh, action contrary to the rules of human communication. 
try and force one's feelings to be other than what they are. And furthermore, this is But you see, the, the idea that there are no wrong feelings is an immensely threatening idea to people who are afraid to feel in any case. And this is one of the peculiar problems of our culture. Yes, you and I, girl. Now, what seems to develop is this. Most people think that I is a center of sensitivity somewhere inside their skin. People feel that they exist in the solar plexus. And that's what we live in the middle of, and the purpose of being human is we feel to subjugate nature. subvocally inside your skull. If I think all the time, I have nothing to think about except thoughts. And so I'm never in touch with the real world. Now what is the real world? Some people have the theory that the real world is material or physical. They say it's made a kind of a stuff. Other people have the theory that the real world is spiritual or mental. But I want you to point out that both those theories of the world are concepts. That if you get with reality, all sorts of illusions disappear. And I will mention several illusions that have not this kind of existence. very useful method of accounting. It is a measure of wealth, in the same way as inches are measures of length and grams measures of weight. Is that we confuse ourselves as living organisms with our idea of ourselves 
That is to say, with a conception of myself which is called the personality or ego. As it were, put the devil in us in its proper function. Because you see, it's always the devil, the unacknowledged one, the outcast, the scapegoat, the bastard, the bad guy, you see, the black sheep of the famine. It's always from that point that generation comes. In the same way as in the drama, Uh, to have the play, it's necessary to introduce a villain. It's necessary to introduce a certain element of trouble. scheme of life, there has to be the shadow, because without the shadow there can't be the substance. If you awaken from this illusion, and you understand that black implies white, self implies other, life implies death. I say definitely my life. You can feel yourself, not as a stranger in the world, not as something here. 
here on probation, not as something that has arrived here by flu, but you can begin to feel your own existence as absolutely fundamental. I'm not trying to sell you on this idea in the sense of converting you to it. I want you to play with it. I want you to think of its possibilities. I'm not trying to prove it. I'm just putting it forward as a possibility. So let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And that you could, for example, have the power within one night to dream 75 years of time. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure. And after several nights of 75, it's what you would dream. Finally, you would dream where you are now. You would dream the dream of living the life that you are actually living today. That would be within the infinite multiplicity of choices you would have. Playing that you weren't God. Because the whole nature of the God, according to this idea, is to play that he's not. So in this idea, then, everybody is fundamental. The ultimate reality. Not God in a politically kingly sense but God in the sense of being the self, the deep down basic whatever there is, and you're all that. We have been brought up to experience ourselves as isolated centers of awareness and action, placed in a world that is not us, that is foreign, alien, other which we confront. Whereas, in fact, what you do is what the whole universe is doing at the place you call here and now.